All right, quick update on Solana. So uh, luckily on the daily, we have held this previous low down here at 81. Uh, you know, our price target that we put in place, you know, a couple of days ago or so, four days ago, uh, we did come down to here. Um, you know, we tagged it again today. Uh, we did break below on a wick, but you know, do bear in mind, I always say with these bigger macro kind of trend lines, I would like to see a weekly break above or a breakdown before I do kind of get out of bed and say, oh my God, we're breaking down or oh my God, we're holding it. So, you know, I am saying that we are holding it for now. We have broken out of this trend line. Uh, do bear in mind, I have outlined this a few times. I started making uh, content for this coin around about here, I think. Uh, on the 8th of Feb, uh, maybe a tiny bit before, but I don't know, uh, we got a line here, so I mean, maybe we started back here in Jan. So uh, we did outline this before where we have broken out this trend line. We had one, two, three, four days above. This time we had, you know, three days or two and a half and three and a half. Uh, so for now, I'm really not going to be getting out of bed for a couple of days above this trend line. I would like to see a break above 112. Now, if you've been watching my content uh, for a while on Solana, you know that I've literally been talking about 112 for the longest time. Um, I, I even made a video titled on we need to get above 112, probably like a week ago, two weeks ago. It's been a while. Uh, so, I mean, I am sticking with that. If we do zoom out, you can see that this macro fib that we've got here, this is the 618. So, in my opinion, this is the most important level that we do need to be above, and we're currently below it. So, uh, while we are uh, below 112, I am bearish in the short term, and, you know, that is completely unbiased because I do hold this coin, so I am kind of just looking at this coin objectively. I wish I could say, you know, we're breaking bullish, but... If we do just zoom out, you can see market structures are very much intact. Uh, while we are above this trend line, I could just whack out another trend line like this and say, you know, we're not above this one. Even if I draw this kind of conservative one with touch points here, 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 and here, and also a back test on here. So, I mean, this one is probably more valid than the one I just drew. If we do zoom in, we are still below this one as well. So what I'd like to see in the next few days is a pump break above this trend line break above the 618 which is lining up with you know 112 uh, 11250 and then a strong breakout above uh, once we do do that i do believe that we would be coming up to the 200 day which is a 35 percent increase that would be a really nice long position after we do break above 112 i think we would pretty much be going straight up there i don't really see any any other resistance where we where we would get stuck on apart from this 112 um but you know this could also be like a nice little w breakout so i do believe that we would get some nice momentum coming in if we did do something like that now uh, do bear in mind this w pattern is a little bit ugly because you know traditionally if you want to talk about uh, a very technical w pattern the high on the second low uh, would need to be higher than the first low on the first on the first low yeah so uh, we have technically at least on the wick gone below this previous low uh, but if we kind of do just i mean yeah it is it is an ugly ugly w there is no other way that you can chop it this is a very ugly w uh, do bear in mind as well if i do take horizontal ray didn't see this the other day but we do have a head and shoulders that we did break below uh, we've just broken above it now to be fair so i mean I reckon this probably won't play out as long as we do stay above that trend line. It is pretty ugly as well though, so yeah, I mean all in all this is all just noise. I could delete everything on this page, just draw this macro fib and say, you know, until we are above 112 on this more macro fib out here, until we start do breaking above this high on this micro fib, then uh, all in all nothing's changed for me. So that is all I see for the USD pair. If we look at the BTC pair, you can still see that we're on our last legs. Not really anything to see. Uh, there is nice buying volume coming in though. So, um, you know, I would like to see more buying volume stepping in, not just buying volume in like one or two days. I want to see us have a lot of buying volume coming in. I want to see the uh, MFI, the money flow indicator turn up, and I want to see us get above the 112. So all in all, while we're below 112, I am bearish in the micro term. Uh, crypto fear and greed is very bearish this will update in like four hours so i imagine this will be even lower than yesterday uh today sorry and yeah that is all i see for solana so once again none of this is financial advice this is just my opinion on the market and you've always got to do what's best for you
Peace.